What's good everyone, Coach D here, coming to you with another awesome YouTube video. As always, we're here at John Yells, and today I'm giving you my top three exercises that I like to do in this gym to really hit your quads, right? You gotta build the tree trunks, thick thighs save lives, so let's go ahead and jump into some of my top exercises here. So first we gotta do a little anatomy just like we did for the chest in the last video. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my videographer put up a quick video right here of what we can show the quads look like to give you a little bit of a better picture of how to train them. So the quads, just like it says the name, is a four part muscle. You got your vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, and rectus femoris. Really the only thing you need to know about these four different muscles is that they pretty much all have the same function, except one of them, your rectus femoris, does cross over the hip bone, going to that anterior, inferior iliac spine, that kind of that little bony protrusion at the top of your hip. And so it does have some action at the hip for hip flexion. Think like doing sprints or knee tucks with core. So it does have a little bit of action there. However, for today, we're primarily gonna be talking about the quad's main function for all four of them, which is going to be knee extension because your quad does go into your patella, into your patellar tendon, and it has a lot of action to help you straighten your leg, think like a leg extension or coming out of the top of the squat. So we're gonna focus mainly on exercises that build your quads through leg extension. All right, so now we got that anatomy down, we're gonna go ahead and jump into my top three exercises. Let's get it. So the first exercise we're gonna do is going to be the leg press. For me specifically, the decline leg press, I find for my anatomy and because my legs are so long, it really helps me get a really deep stretch at the bottom of the lift, which we know if you wanna build muscles, you really wanna make sure you're able to get a really deep eccentric movement. So I really like this exercise. Let me show you how we set it up. So let's go ahead and set up the leg press for yourself. Again, making sure you got a relatively lightweight to start out just so you can get your settings right in terms of where you're gonna position your feet and make sure that you're able to get deep enough into movement to get the most bang for your buck when you do the leg press. So I got my weight set up here. It's a relatively lightweight for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and get my feet in a proper position here. Most of them you can also adjust the back. So you wanna have yourself at roughly like a 45 degree, or excuse me, a 90 degree where you have basically your hips set up at a 90 degree angle when you look at yourself from the side. So for me, this is a good position here. Now I'm gonna set up my feet. So when it comes to your feet position, it's very similar to when you're doing any kind of squat. So for me, that's gonna be feet just outside shoulder width and toes turned out slightly. And ideally, I wanna get them as close to the bottom of the pad as possible because I want to maximize the line of force on my quads. Generally, the higher I go on the pad, just like a squat, like a Smith machine squat, it's going to be a little bit more focused on the glutes. So as low as I can go while still keeping contact with my heels on the pad. So now that I got my weights on, I'm going to get my feet set. I know for myself, right about there is pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unrack and I'm gonna go ahead and go as deep as I can, keeping my knees in line with my toes and perform the amount of reps I wanna do for the set. So let me show you. Unrack, safeties are off, handles on, nice and slow, maintaining good contact, getting as deep as you can, knees are going into the stomach. You don't wanna stop shy here, right? This is about 90-ish. I want to go as deep as I can while still keeping my heels on the bench pad. All right, so the next exercise I would like to do is the leg extension. This is a great exercise because it really does isolate the quads. It's purely knee extension. And so unlike the leg press and our last exercise that you'll see here in a little bit, which is gonna be Smith machine squats, yes, those are really good for the quads, but there's also some other muscles involved like the glutes, like the spinal erectors. And so that can make it very fatiguing for the body overall. This one's great because it really just burns the crap out of your quads. So it's really good for isolation, doesn't make you too tired for the rest of your body. Now, the big thing that you're gonna see with the leg extension here is making sure we set it up properly and making sure that your reps are controlled. So let me show you how to set it up. 
So as always with building muscle mass, again, I wanna make sure I got a lot of tension at the bottom of the movement. For our leg extensions, that's gonna be when your heels are closest to your butt. So I gotta set the pad as close in as possible to where I can still squeeze my legs in there. So I'm moving forward, lock it in place. Now I gotta set up the bench, that way when I sit down, the crease of the back of my knee is on the front of the pad here. So for my tall I gotta move this back a bit. Should be good for me. And then of course, again, picking a weight that's challenging for you, so that way you can still extend your legs fully to get them as straight as possible and control it all the way down throughout the movement. If you're having trouble extending your legs, it might be a little too heavy, so make sure you pick an appropriate weight. Now I'm gonna squeeze on in, creasing my knees on the pad, toes are pointed up, make sure the back is against me, perfect. And now I'm gonna extend my legs as much as possible and control them the way down. Let's get some reps in. And lastly, we got the love-hate relationship that is the Smith Machine Squat. The reason why Smith Machine versus a traditional barbell back squat, not that back squats are bad, I love them, but with the Smith Machine, I'm able to have a little bit more control, limit any noise in the system where, you know, extra stabilization muscles have to get involved. This is on a fixed track, and so I can really focus on hitting good depth and controlling my range of motion. On top of that, because it is a Smith Machine, if you have issues with range of motion, I can adjust my feet a little bit forward or backward, whatever's comfortable for me, to get as deep as I can so that I can really maximize targeting my quads. All right, so let me show you how we get it down. So first thing you gotta do, obviously, get your weight set up. And then just like a regular squat, I wanna make sure that's roughly at about collarbone height for me so that when I unrack it, I don't have to tiptoe out and I don't have to do a full squat to get out of the rack. So again, making sure you got it at about collarbone height, hands outside, shoulder width, Rest on the upper traps, iron rack, feet position just outside shoulder width, toes turned out, and now, just like regular squat, I'm gonna drop straight down, nice and slow, let my knees track forward as deep as you can, all the way back up. And that's it, y'all. Again, really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all know where to find me on socials at the underscore shift underscore method. I got daily content, weekly Spotify and YouTube style videos, and of course, coaching inquiries if y'all are ever wanting to work with me down in South Florida or virtually. And as always, thank y'all so much, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.